As a college student, the best way to build your profile, especially if you're interested in research or want to study abroad, is to do a research internship. But the main problem arises in identifying which institutes are offering these internships, what is the eligibility, the timeline and the links to apply to these internships. So all this information I'll be sharing with you in this video. Along with that, for every internship, I will tell you what to focus on in your application so that you can actually secure that internship. And for those of you who watch this video till the very end, I'm going to share with you my secret technique that will help you secure an internship at any institute and at any time of the year. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I am Neha Grawal. I'm the founder of WiseUp. And on this channel, I make videos on study abroad, job readiness, research mastery and communication skills, essentially all those areas where you need to become wiser to succeed in your career. So if any of these topics are relevant to you, you can subscribe to this channel. And now let's talk about these amazing research internships. So today I'm sharing with you eight research internships, which are being offered by either IITs or NITs. Most of these internships are during the summer from May to July 2024. The main perks of these internships is that you get to work with highly qualified faculty of IIT and NITs on impactful research projects. Through these projects, you will have the opportunity to publish a research paper or present your work at a conference which will boost your CV for jobs and higher education. Out of these institutes, IIT Delhi, IIT Madras, IIT Tirupati and IIT Dhanbad are also offering a stipend from 5 to 6,000 rupees which is pretty great. Most of these institutes are also offering accommodation on campus which is either free of cost or at a very nominal charge which again is a great opportunity because these campuses are just beautiful and you should definitely experience it. Now, when it comes to eligibility, most institutes are accepting both UG and PG students across all branches, but the number of years in the program might vary. So if any institute has a specific requirement, then I'm going to share that with you. Otherwise, consider it is for all years. Now, at this point, I would also recommend that you sit down with a pen and paper and note down which internships you're eligible to apply to. First is IIT Roper, which is accepting students across all branches and all years from both UG and PG. They also don't have any specific CGPA requirement. So whether you're a first year student or a final year candidate, you can easily apply to this internship. IIT Dhanbad is also accepting students from across branches and across years from both UG and PG programs but they have a specific CGPA requirement where you need to have a minimum of 7.5 CGPA if you belong to IITs, NITs, IISCRs, etc. or a minimum of 8 CGPA if you belong to other private institutes. When it comes to IIT Delhi, they are only offering internship to engineering undergrad students who have completed a minimum of second year in their degree program. Apart from that, they also have a very stringent requirement that the student should be among the top 10 ranks of their branch. So if you don't qualify this requirement, then don't bother applying to this internship. For an IT Raurkila, you also need to be a minimum of second year student, but across branches and from either UG or PG programs. They also don't have any specific requirement when it comes to CGPA. For IIT Madras, they are offering internships only to pre-final year UG and PG students. They expect you to have a good CGPA, but they have not given any specific cutoffs as such. For IIT Guwahati, the internship is only applicable for computer science and civil engineering programs. You need to be a pre-final year student, but there is no specific criteria for CGPA. For IIT Tirupati, you have a similar requirement where you need to be a pre-final year UG or PG student and there is no specific criteria when it comes to CGPA. Finally, for VNIT Nagpur, you need to be a pre-final year student who has either scored first class or a minimum CGPA of 6.75 or above. Now, for most of these internships, the deadline is in March with very few institutes having deadlines in April. So make sure you apply to these internships on time. Now, most of these internships are also requesting for very standard documents, which includes your photograph, transcript, a no objection or bona fide certificate from your college, letter of recommendation and your resume. 
So make sure you keep these documents handy when you are applying to these internships. And now let me share my secret technique with you. With this technique you can get an internship at any institute of your choice and at any time during the year. In fact, if you're watching this video much later and you've already missed out the deadlines that I've shared before, then you can definitely go for this technique. Reach out to professors you are interested to work with. Let them know how passionate you are about the work you're doing, how you have prior experience in the field, and how would you like to contribute to their research group. Back in 2015, there were no such internships being offered by ITs that too in such a formal manner that you see today. So as a second year student, I cold emailed professors and that landed me an internship at IIT Kharagpur. The email that you see on the screen is what I had sent out during that time. Now when you're preparing your cold emails, the most important thing is to make these emails as personalized as possible. Go through some of the research work of these professors and then mention in the email that you've read some of their papers, what did you like about them, if you have any questions regarding the papers then put that in the email as well. This will show the professor that you've gone out of your way to learn about them and will help you secure an internship. To know more about how to write such emails to professors, you can check out my previous video. Also guys, these are just 8 internships that I managed to share with you today. New internship opportunities keep coming up. So if you want to stay updated with the latest internship opportunities, then you can follow my Instagram page. I keep posting about new internships there on a regular basis. That's all I wanted to share with you today. If you want me to make more such videos on internships, then please comment internship below. This will let me know that you are interested in watching more such videos. Also, if you secure any of these internship opportunities, please let me know in the comments because I'll be most happy to hear about your success. And now, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.